And now, ladies and gentlemen, at center court for a special presentation, please welcome TNT's Ernie Johnson. All right, Cleveland. You're going back to the NBA Finals, and uh, we have an, an Eastern Conference Championship trophy. Got Dan Gilbert, the owner here. We got David Blatt, the head coach. Got David Griffin, the GM. And to do the honors, we have a Cleveland Cavaliers legend. You see his number 22, retired, hanging in the banners and hanging in the rafters, Larry Nance. Dan Gilbert, it's been since 2007. How long has that felt to you? Like a hundred years, Ernie. But you know what? This this franchise, from the players to the coaches, front office, business people, everybody in between, including Dottie and Devin, everybody that we know, has just done an incredible job inside the franchise. And, and it's a family, and they, these guys love each other. But Cleveland, uh, this, this is, we're not settling for this. We're, we want to take this thing the full way, right? 51 years is too long. Congratulations. David Griffin. How satisfying is it for you, David, to look at this team that you reassemble in a short time to be standing where you're standing tonight and heading to the finals? Yeah, we're obviously really grateful the pieces fit as well as they do. But what's really gratifying is how much they're willing to lay on the line for each other. It's about sacrificing. They're as all in as you all are. The moves you've made, including the mid-season move. You get Timothy Mosgar, you get J.R. Smith, Iman Shumpert in the mix. Yeah, we, again, the, the pieces were good. I, I think everything fit really well. We had incredible coaching that integrated those pieces really well. And we have the greatest player on the planet who made it all work. And that man that you got is the head coach of the Cleveland Cavaliers, David Blatt. Come on up. So let's be honest. This hasn't always been easy this year, David. But to be standing here, going to the finals, just tell me how that feels to you tonight. Well, we're in Cleveland. Nothing is easy here. <laughs> but there's, there's a lot of love and the best support in the world and the people care and the players give everything they have and we're not done. The fans who are here and weren't watching on TV could not see the exchange you had with LeBron James. We played it on TNT as you stood on the sidelines in the waning seconds. Relay to them what that was about. Well, I, you know, LeBron took such a, a courageous decision and such an honest decision to come back. Because all of this is where his heart it is, where his family is. And now we're all part of that family. And we're, as I said before, we, he wants to lead us and we want to keep going. David, congratulations to you. Good luck in the finals. Um, is LeBron James in the house here somewhere? Yeah, there you go. Congratulations. Look. I know that when you decided to come home, you said, you said, be patient. Not promising any kind of championships right away. You gotta be patient, you gotta let this work. Uh, you're in the finals now, is patience out the window? <laughs> uh, I knew I was gonna have to be patient. You know, uh, you know, it takes a lot of hard work. It takes a lot of time to, to make a team become whole. And, um, you know, we've, we've worked our tail off all season to get to this point. And uh, to be able to represent the Eastern Conference in the NBA Finals is the ultimate, especially in this city. Obviously, as an NBA champion twice, you know what it takes. You know what a team has to have. 
What are the characteristics of this Cleveland team that make you feel good about going to the finals? Uh, we have everything it takes to win. And, uh, you know, like you said, I've been there twice. We have grit. We have determination. We have the willingness to want to be great. And, and that's from the first guy all the way down to the 15th. I think our coaching staff is going to prepare us the best way they know how to go against whoever comes out of the Western Conference, and we'll be ready to go on June 4th. LeBron, congratulations. And to all your teammates, the 2015 Eastern Conference champions heading to the NBA Finals, the Cleveland Cavaliers. And the celebration continues here in Cleveland. LeBron averaged a shade over 30 per game in this series, 11 rebounds, and just shy of a, a triple-double for the four games, 9.3 assists. Marv Albert back with Reggie Miller and, and Chris Webber. And, and guys, give me your a take on, on the possible finals matchup. Certainly a long shot for Houston to uh, come back from a 3-0 deficit. This is nice, you know. You <laughs> I kind of uh, like show it. The, show the quickness <laughs> in grabbing these. Uh, but be it Cleveland against Golden State, or Cleveland against Houston. How do you see it? Well, I'll start with Golden State, and obviously it starts with that backcourt and, and Steph Curry, the MVP, and Klay Thompson. We call them the Splash Brothers for a reason. These guys are lethal in scoring the basketball and spreading out your defense. The challenging part's going to be the health of Kyrie Irving. We saw tonight a little bit of still he has a gimp. He still has a limp. The cadence isn't there, but if he can get healthy in these seven, eight days, and be close to 100 percent i like their chances because as dan gilbert says we have the best player on the planet on our team press eight days off in between final start june 4th how does that uh, help the, the cavaliers well you would think it would help the Cavs. kyrie played tonight and he played well so he has his rhythm back up but it's going to be such a great game if you think about it a former mvp against the current mvp and and it's just going to be exciting two leaders I think it's going to be fast-paced, a lot of three-point shooting. I'm just excited. Can't wait to start. Chris, Reggie, just a great pleasure to work with uh, both of you throughout the season and uh, look forward to 2015-2016. Pleasure, marvelous. And uh, I'd like to say thank you to all the, the great uh, women and men who have put this together right throughout the entire season here on, on TNT. Just a great job day in and day out. Our producer Scott Cockerell, our director Renato Lowe, associate directors Billy Proctor, Keith Robinson, sound producers Dow Bernardo, Alvin Whitney, graphics coordinators Donzel Floyd, Jason Ingram, JP Jeff Paris, and our statistician Brian Taylor. Marv Albert, Chris Weber, Reggie Miller, Rachel Nichols, David Aldridge saying so long from the queue in Cleveland after a quick break. Ernie, Kenny, Charles, and Shaq will have much more from here in Cleveland on Inside the NBA. so awkward she's just she doesn't really dance and when she does it's like she can't even really do like this it's like <laughs> one's always like she thinks she's like Spanish or something she's always like going like this with her hands I can throw it down uh, why are you laughing I can did you know that DirecTV has 4k 